Hello, I am Cordley NYE. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, uh, depending on your time zone and uh, your geographical location. We are in it, we are in again, and um, we are going to discuss um, Abia State. And um, today was a, was a great uh, day in Abia State. Uh, because of um, uh, the new development about um, about the official opening of um, Signature Bank, one of the new banks in Nigeria by the, um, Alice uh, Chioma Oti. Um, not just opening one branch, but they open in Aba and uh, Omoahia. I am called the NYE. Um, you are just watching what happened, and um, and um, I am the son of the wonderful. Hopefully that you are, you will enjoy what has been happening in uh, Omoahia uh, in Abia State since. Uh, uh, Mr. Alice uh, Chiomaoti took over. Suddenly, a state that was in a, in a, in a mess was um, transformed. A lot of good news that they're happening in the state, which is a tremendous um, uh, uh, tremendous uh, thing to happen to this state that the citizens and uh, dwellers have suffered uh, bad uh, leadership over years. And, um, you know, in this uh, channel, we are entertaining, we are informative, and we're educative. And that's why we're pushing forward for to bring uh, the latest news, um, especially happening in Nigeria. Um, Abia is open for business. OT tells investors a signature bank takes off in Abia State. The governor of Abia State, Dr. Alice Oti OFR, says Abia is open for all forms of legal businesses as his government is determined to support investors to boost the state economy in line with his administration's policy trust of creating wealth and taking the people out of poverty. Um, that's uh, Zale. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please uh, try to subscribe to support us in the, what we are doing and also to bring about um, um, the news that you require and to bring out things that will um, make you very, very happy. That's why we are, we are here for you. We are always here for you. So that's, um, it's very important for us, for you to support us. So that we continue bringing uh, a lot of things that will, you know, you love to um, see, especially the transformation going on in the homeland. Um, remember, the homeland must be a livable and prosperous homeland, a place of uh, beauty. So that's why we are here for to bring you all the news and to bring you um, what you need to uh, know in the in this um in this uh in the in um in this transformation era so let's uh keep on uh um uh you know listening and uh, the news says that governor ot stated this during the official opening of two branches of signature bank limited in our bar no more here, he says that the event is a major testimony to the fate of members of the business community have begun begun to have in Abia State and the opportunities for steady enterprise and economic growth. The present administrator administration promises. Abia is open for businesses and anyone who wants to invest in Abia, be it in banking, in finance, in trade, in major businesses. We will be there to support you, and when you have erected your building, you are and you are ready to open for business. Please invite us; we will come to open it with you. 
the governor says, we promised at the inception of this administration that we shall be a business-friendly government adopting robust initiative to enhance our ease of doing business ranking, supporting micro, small, and medium-scale enterprises. We can confidently say that Arabia has become a strategic investment zone for business planning to tap into new frontier of opportunities. He used the opportunity to clarify that he is no longer a director of member of the board of Signature Bank. I wish to state that until about eight months ago, I served on the board of Signature Bank as a pioneer non-executive director and one of his founders until my present role. It is also important to indicate that has I had to resign before taking up the role I am occupying at this time. So I am here not as a director or a founder, but a, as the governor of Abia State and a guest. Governor Oti said he is optimistic that many more businesses will be welcome in the state in the most ahead following discussions his government has heard with leading investors who are very eager to take advantage of the economic promises of the new Abia, adding, our dear state, Abia, has become a place of serious interest for investors, including major foreign conglomerates, on account of our active commitment to turning every part of the state into a major center of enterprise. Our guiding philosophy as a government is farmed on being proactive in decision making cutting down barriers to enterprise success, and answering the important questions of security, critical infrastructure, and environmental sustainability. He emphasized the decision by Signature Bank to open two branches simultaneously in Aba and Omaha is a pointer that the government is doing things right in the state. Governor Oti said that he is proud that the Signature Bank, after about one year of his establishment, has become a very important player in the Nigerian financial services industry and appreciated the board and management of the bank for believing in Nigeria and the limited, limitless of possibilities it holds and for heeding it to the call of investing in Abia State. He, st he stated that the state government would want to see a partnership between the bank and the Abia business community, assuring that the government will do everything possible to create a conducive environment for all businesses to strive. In his speech, the chairman of the board of Signature Bank, Dr. Mutu Sumunu, Represented by Ma Zilzoma Wankuo, pledged that the bank will be of full and active participant in the drive by Governor Oti to transform Abia State to the best state in Nigeria. We understand that the Mazi Uzoma said that, that we understand that the, the pivotal role small and micro scale enterprise play in driving the economic development. Our goal is to be a catalyst for their sources, offering stable financial solutions to their growth and innovation. He thanked Governor Oti for coming to grace the occasion and the opportunity to invest in the state. Also speaking, the managing director of the bank, Mr. Godwin Nosike, said that the launch of the branches in Aba and Omoahia is the recognition of the opportunities and potential that exist in Abia State. He added that our mission is to provide the necessary support to grow the business in Abia State. We believe in the power of partnership and relationships. 
in the opening of the branches we all we aim to provide a wide array of financial services to meet the uniqueness of our customers in the state azubi k jinawa so divine one call the government house press um that's um what happened um consigning this uh um business remember by opening these uh, two branches you are sure that these two branches will already bring a total of uh, 50 people employed at least 50 people directly employed to these uh, branches you know not less than 50 people employed so that's um, a great uh, way of uh, reducing unemployment uh, in the state and also the bank will also help to get them um, get their uh, get them um, businesses um, uh, working because um, if they can actually loan um, loan to the small scale um, businesses in the Abbey state it will actually help to um, to build uh, business potentials in the state and um, help the state to meet up its um, obligations and um, and uh, also create more opportunities. And uh, you heard from the governor that um, he will be the chief marketer in all these things, which is a good, uh, unique way because uh, in the past we've been having um, all sorts of uh, um, governors who are not ready to market their state or market businesses coming into their state because if those businesses are succeeding if they if they become successful the state also can become successful because it will attract other chains of uh, enterprises it will attract uh, a lot of other businesses that will uh, help uh, in getting um, things uh, moving in the right direction that's why the chief, chief executives uh, of every um, state must endeavor to be proactive in helping those businesses to uh, to come into their state and also market those businesses that uh, that take the risk of investing in their states. In the case of Wales OT, uh, like uh, Chuguma Soludo in Anambra State, the these uh, bankers they know how to market things. And uh, because he's devoting his time to doing this, is uh, it will eventually bring about uh, more businesses coming into the state because um, you know investors when well, they trust the, the the chief executive officer in any state, they will be rushing to establish more businesses, and this will also help to get the state uh, moving. Let us um, listen to some of the. Um, statements made uh, um, about this opening. This very rotation, we acknowledge that it's all by you. Your mercy has brought us this far. And Father God, thank you for the very privilege given to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare that the program will come out so far at the bank in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for such a day like this. We are grateful and we glorify your name. For in the name of Jesus Christ have we prayed. And God's help also in the ease of doing business in Africa. I also want to welcome uh, the following customers and will be customers of the bank. It's a long list, but uh, commit me to to welcome uh, those who I'm seeing their faces here. Welcome, Cecilia, you're welcome. I want to welcome Honorable A.G. Fremel also, and you're welcome. Hi. Let's receive the MD of Signature Bank for his MD's remark. If your hands are not busy, have them put your hands together and receive Mr. Godwin Nosike. <laughs> With the opening of this branch, financial services to be our customers in our bank, the price of dedicated and experienced. We are here to listen, understand, and work collaboratively with you.
we have received from the committee. We are excited about the opportunities that lie ahead and we look forward to forging lasting relationships with each one of you. Thank you for being part of this. On behalf of the chairman and board, um, uh, board members of uh, Signature Bank, I welcome you to this occasion. I welcome friends. Yes. Seated, please. Thank you. The chief of staff. The big governor. Let me use you to recognize. Uh, the special advisors, senior special assistants, special assistants, and all that government appointees that are here with us today. Honorable Uchudi Stephen, member representing APA Central Constituent and women who are here with us. The board and chairman, Mr. Sumanu, Matthew Zama, Nanjo,
Yeah, welcome back. I am Godly NYA. You have just watched um, the opening of the Signature Bank uh, branches uh, at Abar and Umrahe uh, in Abir State of Nigeria by Mr. Chioma, uh, Alex Chioma uh, Oti. And uh, as I said earlier on, that uh, 50 people are mostly going to be employed, but I was reliably um I gather that they are going to have uh, the two branches will be operating with uh, between 150 to 200 uh, people employed in that two branches uh, directly and uh, indirectly more so 100 uh, 150 to 200 people taken out of um, unemployment market is a great feast and uh, remember the other services that will be um, rendered to these uh, branches is a way of um, you know co cushioning the effects of unemployment uh, in Nigeria and especially in Abia State and you know with those these bank, uh, bank um, branches you all also have to attract other businesses and is going to help to boost um, um, the internally generated revenue of the state. So that's a, a, um, a great um, uh, thing to happen because um, you can see that um, the governor is determined to turn the economy of this uh, great state of Abia into something that has not been uh, seen before in Nigeria. And um, he's quite passionate in uh, what he's been doing and um, hope that he will sustain that. Um, the only thing is this um, that um, that he should uh, not relent. He should, as he has started with great speed, he should not be distracted. He should not allow himself to get into other things that are not uh, in the interest of the state. He should focus on wanting in changing the Abbey state economy, changing the lifestyle of uh, average Abian to be. Um, to be uh, great. This state is God's own state and uh, being a God's own state, it must be a livable and a prosperous homeland for all people there. And it must be a final destination and not a departure point. Um, um, I had a lot of other uh, things lined up that um, he has for the um, state which is great. It's wonderful that uh, Abia that, <laughs> that have been uh, ridiculed, <laughs> cajoled by many people uh, because of the type of leadership over the years they've been having, is now a state that uh, a reference point, and not only in the eastern Nigeria, but then the whole of Nigeria. And this governor is um, a determined man. Uh, remember, he has vowed to be governor for almost three times, or, or three times and uh, in two times or three times he was um, uh, uh, rigged out of the uh, the whole thing uh, just changed because of Nigeria flawed electoral system and um, the type of uh, what happens in Nigeria whereby corruption is the uh, number one business in Nigeria so um but finally, this guy has gone in. And you can see that if you would have taken, uh, if you have been in power, if you have got a coming much, much earlier, Abia State would have been, uh, um, would have been better than it is at the moment. And Nigeria would have grown. That's why uh, people of capacity should be uh, in, in leadership in Nigeria. But because of corruption and, uh, and the flawed electoral system, um, has denied the best from occupying the seats in Nigeria. So um, kudos to the Abia people who have suffered and now they are going to reap the fruit of their labor and their prayers have been answered in Ali Soti. And we in this channel and all our subscribers are wishing him the best and um, hopefully that um, he will um, uh, finish the Porter Court uh, uh, Aba Portacourt uh, uh, Motorway, which will basically transform the business in that state. And also with all the plans it has in, uh, in um, industrial, um, industrial estate and uh, other investment uh, 
that is going to is uh, planning, especially the modular refinery and the train, uh, train, uh, um, train, and also the uh, expansion of uh, uh, motorways in uh, expansion of roads in uh, Umuahia, the state capital, and other things is doing. I think will basically change Abia for good. Um, it's um, it's a win-win situation because. Um, Abia supposed to be number one of the estates. This is a state that is boast of uh, millions of uh, small scale industries and uh, medium and large scale industry. I think uh, for Nigeria to grow as a nation, a state like Abia State should be uh, sh a shining light on that. Once Abia and one other or two states arise in Nigeria, Nigeria will be able to. Uh, dominate economically in the world because a lot of household items are produced in the street of Abia and the Abia people and the dwellers are very innovative and they are you know drawing attention of uh, many uh, um, countries because of their innovative spirit entrepreneurship spirit and you can see Abia can turn a desert into a mighty sea they are that's how they they are so creative you can see a boy in Aba uh, turning things around doing things that you you will be you won't believe that is uh, made in nigeria you have seen the exploit in garment industry garment production you have seen their enterprise in uh, in uh, leather leather material and uh, shoes you have seen their um their their creativity in machine tool industry fabrications and loads of other things. But what they have lacked over the years is what they are going to gain now in uh, uh, Mr. Alex Chioma Oti, the executive governor of Abia State. Because what they have lacked is basically somebody that will provide a simple infrastructure, tidy up the street, uh, get out all these attachments and the slum, and uh, get the basic infrastructure like water, roads, electricity, and uh, and uh, help to secure uh, financial um, uh, muscles or financial assistance to those uh, uh, businesses, and also to patronize them and to market their goods not just in the state but all over the whole world. And and this man is so determined because. If if Abia Abia that is uh, up up to um, eight million in population uh, can if the governor of that Abia state can easily encourage those uh, manufacturers they will be able to be exporting millions of shoes millions of garments millions of uh, machine tools and other other household items not uh, around the world and. Uh, and Abia, being very close to the seaport, can easily take advantage of this and export most of these goods. And it will bring a lot of foreign um, um, uh, impact, um, foreign uh, exchange to the state. And uh, remember, this state is also blessed with so much raw materials. Uh, there is uh, cement. Sorry, I am called the NYE. Uh, we'll continue on our talking, uh, what we are discussing. So, sorry, I was suddenly cut off from there. Um, remember to subscribe. I am the son of Wonderful. We are talking about uh, there are limestone, cement deposit in the state. Yeah, a lot of the state are um, is so blessed with arable land, fertile land. And there are a lot of opportunities. Yeah. <gasps> A lot of all opportunities, iron ore. There are a lot of things in that state that can be used to bring about the change of, uh, of that state. Only that, unfortunately for them, over the years, they have uh, uh, charlatans and uh, ma masquerading like uh, politicians uh, ripping the state dry. Right now, the the change is finally in Abia State. Um, and is how is this state is changing is changing dramatically is changing dramatically can you believe in Aba? there is uh, the roads have been built so many roads have already uh, been built 
and more are still are being uh, uh, awarded under construction. And the Umu Ahi as well, Umu Ahi that looks like a glorified state capital, a glorified village, um, now it's looking like a capital with the expansion of that Umu Ahi uh, road. It's fantastic. So, um, I don't know, uh, let's uh, join in the join in the comment section and let's discuss uh, more. Um, I believe that you, you like this content and um, if you need any other content, you can also drop um, your views on the comment section. I do appreciate all of you. Uh, remember, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and help us to get this uh, um, uh, channel to where it's supposed to be. Thank you very much for for always being there. Thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you very, very much. I will see you in the next channel. Remember, I am called the NYA, the son of the wonderful. Have a wonderful time. See you in the next video. Bye.